Ever since we went to Mrs. Nolan's, it's been up there in big letters. Lucy Sullivan's getting married. And now, Daniel and I were about to fly off to the West Indies to make the prediction come true. Right, I declare Lucy's and I officially started. <laughs> Um, I'll probably be home late tonight. It's all right. I'll wait up. Sling your up, Mr S. Go on. <laughs> so what's the plan for tonight, Luz? It's the Frog and Typewriter, and then on to that Brian Paddington with the mail strippers. Hey, are we talking the full Monty here? <laughs> oh, bloody well, better be. Oh, mail strippers. Oh, I don't know about that. Mom. Maybe I should go. Now, come on, it'll be a laugh. Come on, Connie, let it all hang out, love. They will. <laughs> <laughs> like feathers. <laughs> Fuck you. Well, it's a hem night. <laughs> Hetty, you made it. Just came to wish you good luck. Oh, Hetty, I'm glad you're here. Richard rang with you before. Did he? Yeah. I told him you'd be left early. I didn't know what else to say. Give him a ring in the morning, then. There we go. Right, everybody, let's make this a night to remember, please. No, excuse me. Let's make it a night that we cannot remember. Hey, okay. cheers. <laughs> Hangovers I can handle. But I was still on secret spot watch after Leo's little niece came to the flat. I was terrified I caught chicken pox. You've spent more time in front of that mirror in the past week than Snow White's wicked stepmother. Yeah, well, you want me looking good for the wedding, don't you? Oh, have you got any aspirin? My head's killing me. Why, well, it's your excuse. <laughs> Me and Simon hit quite a few bars last night. <laughs> Head on. Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll catch up. Uh, Hetty, um, are you, uh, well? Yes. A little fragile. Lucy's hen party last night. Oh. Which is why I didn't call you back. Oh. Meridia said that you'd, you'd uh, left early. Oh. She was being diplomatic. I've been sacked. Sorry to... It's over between Andrew and I. So, why were you calling me? I felt um, on a bound to let you know that I'm pursuing other avenues. What? Um, a, a woman, a, a lady in my office. Uh, she's kind, and I just wanted to know. Thanks for telling me. The advert for Hetty's job is in the standard today, so expect lots of calls. Uh, I've got absolutely no sympathy for either of you. The man you were drinking last night. What was I on? You name it. Vodka and orange. Rum and coke. Oh, and you had that Guinness. Oh. Megan? Megan? <coughs> You're all right? Megan, brought some tissue. Don't look like a normal spot to you. Where? There. Oh, for goodness sake, you're the skin of a newborn babe. That's one of the things I hate most about oh. you. Oh, my God, you look awful. Oh, I live. <gasps> Megan! 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 Oh, my God, Megan, you're all right. Megan. Um, Ivor, can you get an ambulance, please? Right, I'll give you a call from the hospital, OK? Oh, I was supposed to meet Daniel at lunchtime. Will you give a ring and tell him where I am? Yeah, sure. Take care. I assume it's alcohol-related. Have a good mind to dock her pay. Oh, Ivor, show a piece of compassion. Look, do you think you ought to call me Ivor while we're at work? <laughs> Don't be silly. There's no-one here. Yes, I know, but look where familiarity got poor Hetty. Who's being Mr Grumpy Pants, eh? Well, I've got to go and see Mr Compt. Oh. He's made his decision about the amalgamation. Um, excuse me. Is there any news on Megan Blake? She came in about an hour ago. The doctor's with her now. Oh, my God, Daniel, look at your face. You shouldn't be here. Sorry? Well, you must be feeling ill. A bit of a hangover. No, but not that. The spots. Spots? Dan, you've got chicken pox. 
Go home, go to bed, call your doctor. You can be serious at your age. Look, go back to my place, get into bed, and I'll go and get you some stuff for those spots. Will you nurse me? <laughs> of course I will. No, I'm not wearing the nurse's uniform. Pity. Actually, I do feel a little bit rough. Um, I... Is that Daniel? Yeah, yeah, poor sod's got chicken pox. Lucky him. I've got pregnant. Six weeks gone. Shit. How could I let it happen? It's Gus's, isn't it? Mm. I suppose it must have happened last time I saw him. He turned up out of the blue, shagged me, bummed a tenner, buggered off again. <sighs> yep, sounds like Gus. What are you going to do now? Head for the nearest booze up. Ken striking. I don't want to talk to you. I'm asking you for one last time, Connie. Come home. Don't start with the threats again, Jimsy. Your lucky Ken isn't pressing charges. No, 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 no. No threats. I'm just asking. Give me one last chance. And another chance. And another. And another. I spent years giving you chances, Jamesy. It's time I had a chance. So, no, then. So what happened? He just changed his mind. Everything's as per. Thank God, eh? M Megan, you all right? Fine. You don't look fine. Megan. Megan, what's the matter? Have you been drinking? Ivor. If she's been drinking... Ivor, just go into your office and I'll deal with it, OK? Look, drinking is a sackable offence. Right. Get into your office. What's the matter? I'm not going to Amsterdam anymore. Of course you are. Oh, can you imagine it? How long lost Mum's stupid, knocked-up daughter? No, I rang, I cancelled her, and it's all. Megan, listen to me. Listen to me. After everything you've been through, you're going to pick up that phone, you're going to ring her, and you're going to go. Which was right all along. Now what are you doing? Megan, what are you looking for? Clinics. <laughs> I'm not having a baby. My God, you are covered. Yes, thank you. Join the spots up and they spell twacked. Why don't anyone tell me what was wrong with little Chloe? Simon? Uh, oh, my God. Oh, don't you come anywhere near me. Oh, dear sweet Karen, always thinking of others. Simon? Once you have a town, the spots won't show. I've had this horrible feeling. Where's the phone? Well, Gibbs, babes, you look well serious. It's my performance review. Oh, no. Not the old heave-ho. <laughs> no. They've offered me a promotion. Hey, hey clever old you, babes. <laughs> they want me to be chief mortgage advisor in Marbella. Babes, Marbella's well cool. My boss needs an answer by Monday. So what's the problem? We are. You and me. Where does this leave us? Come in. Hi. I should have thought of this earlier. I'm so stupid. What's the matter? I mean, you can understand why they have the rule, but it doesn't really help you guys. For God's sakes, what is it? Well, I just phoned the airline, and they won't take anyone suffering from a contagious illness. Like chicken pox. Right. There's no flight, no holiday, no wedding. The tickets can't be changed, I'm afraid. Too close to the departure date. And no refund either. I'm sorry. There we go, then. 800 quid down the tubes. Lucy could always go on her own. What? A honeymoon on my own. Only you could suggest that, Simon. OK, then. What about changing the names on the tickets so someone else could use them? Well, that might be possible. Pretty, that's my column, not Daniel's. Tough. Have you ever had it, Megan? Once too often. Chicken pox. 
Hello. Hello, Hetty. Hetty. Hello, it's nice to see you. Just came to have a word with Ivor. I wonder if I could give you as a referee. Of course. What sort of thing are you looking for? Anything. Well, there's a friend of mine who needs a ten. Credit control. Mm hmm. What? Mr. Sims, I've got to go. My mum's downstairs. Well, go on. Good luck. Nice to see Megan getting a second chance. You know, everything that's gone wrong in my life started at Mrs. Nolan's. That bloody board. One of your friends phoned me. Meredith? Meredia. Big God. She told me about you and the baby. Well, she had no right to do that. What are you going to do? Have it terminated. Well, it's up to you. Yeah, right, it is. So don't try talking me out of it, not you of all people. Do you know, I've waited for this moment for years. Do you know what you put me through? Must have been awful. You put me in a box and you threw me away like I was rubbish. I was 16. I was a mess. My head was... Full of all that hippy drippy nonsense. On the few occasions I was straight enough to actually think about what I'd done, I hated myself. I'm glad that saves me the effort. What do you want from me? I want you to see me, Megan. I'm a foul mouthed, stroppy cow. I'm shit at relationships, but actually, I'm all right. Me, I want you threw away. You think I haven't thought about you? Every March on your birthday, every Christmas, every day of my life. Sorry is such a little word, but it's all I have, and I am truly sorry. Yeah, well, I'd rather get rid of this kid than put it through that. Think very long and hard about it before you do, because I made a similar decision once. Looking at you now, beautiful. Full of life. Thank God I didn't go through with it. I shouldn't have thrown you away, but I'm glad I didn't get rid of you altogether. <laughs> yes? Mr. Simmons, can I come in? Yes, yeah, sit down, Lucy. Um... I've been thinking about Hetty. Yes? What are you doing this evening? Top shag, babes. As per. Is that the closest I'm going to get to sweet nothings from you? <laughs> Say again? Never mind. We'll still see each other if I take the job in Spain, won't we? Of course. Take it to like ten quid a time these days. I'll be out every weekend. No, you won't. Never bloody see you again. <laughs> hey, babes. I've been thinking. These tickets of Lucy and Daniel's, what say we use them? Let me get this straight. You and I go to St Lucia, yeah? On an all-in honeymoon and wedding deal. Yeah, oh, forget about the wedding bollocks, but just a bloody great cheap holiday, eh? Yeah, I thought that's what you meant. <laughs> hey, Charles. Mm. How about you and me using those tickets, you know, just for old time? If I tell Karen what you just said, she'll be wearing these for earrings. Yeah. Second thoughts. Big mistake. Right, so when you think it's all coming together, you say you need the loo, then you'll get up, look, see us. Look, I know what to do. Okay, let's just hope Hattie and Richard do. Sorry, I'm bored.